Welcome to G4X. Today I'm going to unbox the Watch Dogs Dead Sec Edition for the PlayStation 4. Now I've made a little incision here so that I can start ripping this thing open. So let's get started. Oh, I can see this is going to be fun. Right. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that. It should be quite clear. But that is like really hard and bossed kind of material and this is all embossed as well and I remember watching a uh, YouTube unboxing of this edition at some point and thinking that this uh, texture was like corrugated card like a cheap and nasty kind of look and I suppose the camera doesn't really get it across but it is actually really high quality kind of material so I'm just going to finish unboxing this quickly okay so it's nice and unwrapped now and I'll take you on a tour around the box you can see just as the light goes onto there, it's really, I can't even describe how well made this box set is. So if you take a look at the top, nothing particularly interesting. The sides, nothing particularly interesting. But if I flip it there, it's got all of the contents inside there. And you can see the statue, we've got some badges, some cards, uh, an art book, steel case, a map and a soundtrack, which is quite a lot for a special edition, so this looks pretty damn good. The bottom's just blank as well. So let's get into this thing. So now I've agonisingly taken off all the plastic bits, and hopefully this should slide off. Oh, there's a little bit left there. Let's just take that off and slide this thing out. And take a look inside. So I think that, yep, that comes off at the side there like that. Oh, the contents have skewed around a little bit. Uh, let's take these out and take a look at them individually and then we'll take a look at the model itself. Here is the steel book. You can see it's got a nice image on the back there. There's a spine. We'll open it up. And strangely, there's only room for one disc, which seems a bit strange to me, considering it comes with the soundtrack, and usually, with Ubisoft, like in the Assassin's Creed games, you get the um, like a space for an extra disc, so you can add the uh, soundtrack. So there's the actual game, and then it's got the Do Not Be Sold separately on it, as usual, and then 60 minutes of extra gameplay, and there's the back, and the side. And what's this? Let's have a look what this is. Oh, it's slightly bent there, not impressed with that. Oh, it's the map. Okay, well I'll open this up and you can have a good look at the map. Okay, so this map is really, really huge. So on screen now, hopefully I will have taken a detailed photograph. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Just before I move on, I'll just show you how big the actual map is in comparison to the box. Now the box is quite big and this is the map. It's huge. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So the next thing on the list is the soundtrack. There's a list there if you want to pause it and check what songs are on there. And that's what the disc looks like. Right, so the next thing is this little box. I'm intrigued by this. I'm sure if it's got cards in it or something that I don't quite understand how they work. If I can open it up. Yeah, I've done that typical thing where you bend it by accident in the middle there. And does it open any further? Or does it just slide out? I really don't know. I'm going to try and slide these things out. Oh, hang on. Ah, you're not supposed to open the bottom. You're supposed to open the top. Oh, typical. Right, okay. So that's... It's like a proper plastic card. Like a... I don't know, like um, a credit card, really. And they've got these symbols on. And I suppose you scan it with your phone. Uh, I'm not really into that kind of thing, so I don't know how that works. But I guess you guys could check it out if it's something you're interested in. And the last thing before the statue is these badges. They're actually quite big. I thought they were very small, but they're actually quite big. And they're kind of cool, actually. Especially that one. You can't really see the shape of it there unless I tilt it. It's not round. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's check out the statue. So back to the box now, and you can see inside, that's where we got the things out of before, and then we've got the actual box with the figure in. Oh, and I totally forgot, there's the uh, the art book. We'll go through the art book first and then get to the figure. 
So let's check out the art book. There's the front. It's actually quite a big thing. If you imagine, that's how big two of my hands are. And that's the side. The back's not that particularly interesting. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So, it's quite a nice quality book. It kind of reminds me of the books that you get um, on your iMac, on iPhoto, when you can order your own photo book only. It's a really, really nice quality. And to be fair, those books are nice quality as well. That's why they cost so damn much. Which is surprising considering how much I paid for all of this together was 38 99 And that's in British pounds as well. Oh, sorry, not the camera there a little bit. Wow, look at that. That's pretty good art, isn't it? I love looking at the art books. I can sit and look at them for hours for inspiration. That's an awesome picture. Yeah, that is pretty gorgeous. I mean, look at that. The table that reminds me of is Infamous First Light, definitely. And that's what I'm looking forward to about this game is the kind of nighttime stuff, because apparently that's where this game really shines. OK, so let's check out the actual figure now. So on the case, it says it's for ages 14 and over. Let's remove that. That looks pretty awesome. Already I can tell it's really detailed. It's just like the Assassin's Creed ones. Look at that. I'm going to get some closer details for you. OK, so I'll get a little bit closer with a bit more detail in a moment. But just check that out. I Honestly, looking at this, it looks a lot better than I saw it in the pictures. In the pictures, I thought, eh, it's kind of bland, a little bit boring. But actually, the level of detail is awesome. I'll just show you the base there. And the shoes, even the details on the shoes, there's quite a lot. And this is flexible. That's kind of hard. Let's go in for a bit of detail on the face and see how much we can draw out of it. So you can see there, even this leather, just like the Assassin's Creed ones, very, very nice. Very detailed. And the way the paint's been done, it's like overlapping layers of paint. Really detailed. I mean, look at all the details on there. Apart from that little bit of glitter that's come from somewhere, probably on my little studio area. But that is a really nice figure. I'm actually really impressed with that in comparison to what I was expecting. You can sort of see his face up there as well. OK, let's compare it to an Assassin's Creed figure and see what the size is like. So once again, here's Arno in the picture to get a comparison. Now, obviously, it's a bit... In terms of size, this has this at the bottom. So if you actually line them up foot to foot from his bottom foot, I would say he, if he was in person, this dude on the right would probably be a couple of inches taller. But in terms of scale, it's exactly the same scale and exactly the same amount of level of detail. They're both absolutely excellent. So there we have it, the unboxing of Watch Dogs Dead Sec Edition on the PlayStation 4. Now if you'd like to check out some of my other unboxings, I do a lot of other collector's edition unboxings, and I also do a lot of gameplay videos, uh, first impressions, all that kind of thing. So just click on the box on the screen right now to go and check out my other videos. Otherwise, please subscribe for more videos. Please give me a thumbs up if this was helpful in any way, or has helped you kind of decide whether you do or don't want to buy it, or if you just found it interesting. So thanks for watching, G4X.